sorry about these lightning bugs. I remember them from Mississippi, where me and anti Melster mother was born. Right, anti Melster? She's my mother, Melster, not yours. You're an illusion, a hallucination, a myth, Melster. If I'm an illusion, a hallucination, and a myth, why am I on the outside giving this review and you're on the inside, anti-Melkster? Point, Melkster. Hi, this is the Melkster and this is my review of the Netflix movie, Fangirl. It was an okay movie. It wasn't your typical stalker movie. She was a stalker though. She was a young girl that would do anything to meet her idol. But the reason I say it wasn't that typical stalker movie because she really didn't have any homicidal tendencies trying to kill somebody or hurt somebody. But she was a little bit off. I probably would say she was probably a young girl and you in love because he was a, a older gentleman and she did what she could to meet him by jumping in trucks jumping over a fence. Ain't no way I'd do all that to meet somebody. But you know, she wanted to meet him. You know, it started off by her watching a concert of his. And then she did what she could to meet him. Sneaking around and stuff, you know. And um, he was sleeping and she opened, he opened his eyes and she was standing right there. That would have creeped me out. I mean, she did what she could to meet this guy. But you know, she really didn't have any, I would say, you know, like I said before, homicidal tendencies. You know, she didn't have no knife or trying to hurt somebody. It was somebody there that was like, I won't say they was in the way, they was just there. But you know, she's just, you know, she just did her own thing and stuff. And when they finally met up, you know, he was upset at first, but then you have to watch the movie and see what happened when they met up. And it also dealt with some flashbacks that both of them had. And, you know, it was like some heartwarming flashbacks. But everything else in the movie, it was decent. You know, I give it two stars, you know. You know, probably won't, you know, it's not one of the movies that you probably will rush to see again. But I think it's a nice movie for everybody to watch. Because, like I said, you know, it was some things he was doing in the, in the movie that wasn't, you know, great. You know, because he was an older gentleman. You know, he had some elements about himself that wasn't good, that I didn't like. But, you know, he tried to uh, do his thing. And all she was doing was just trying to be around him. And, um... He was trying to get her to do stuff, you know, stuff that's particularly that he shouldn't have asked her to do, but he was trying, he wanted her to do. So it was uh, stuff like that. But the movie had a, a nice pace to it and the actress was good. The young girl, the stalker, she was good. Uh, you know, the idol she was trying to get, he was good. It was an overall decent movie, but like I said before, I won't rush back to see it again. But I think everybody would like it because the characters, I think everybody would come to enjoy. You know, it was it was a, a good movie, solid. I give it two stars, and it was kind of refreshing because it's a stalker movie, but it has some freshness in it. Because you know, like the other stalker movies we've seen, you know, the person do anything to get to the person they want. They'll kill, you know, they'll hurt the person, they'll kill the person. And you really didn't see that in this movie. You know, she was uh, basically a down-to-earth girl. You know, she just wanted to uh, meet her idol. But, you know, the things she was doing in it, you know, was just kind of crazy. And um, things she was doing, was kind of uh, messed up. I ain't talking about with the uh, his fan. 
But, you know, there's other things he was doing, the activities he was doing was kind of uh, wrong. You know, I didn't I didn't like, and the, uh, the young girl, uh, she didn't like it either. But, uh, you know, they came together in certain parts of the movie, but then it just drifted apart. And, you know, it was it was a nice movie. You know, I think Fangirl, it was a nice movie, you know, a nice take into the uh, stalker genre. I would say, you know, give it a watch. This is the Melster, and this is my review of the Netflix movie, Fangirl. Check it out. You need anger management, anti-Melster. I don't need anger management, Melster. I need you to just stop making me angry, sir.